Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka Ed Nihas to Sapapa, and I am here just giving some messages uh, for all of the zodiacs. Let's start with air signs, Gemini. Let's get into your energy. Let's see what's going on. All right, divine forces of unconditional love of the highest macrocosm. What does the sign of Gemini need to know for their highest good at this time? What messages wants to come through? It may be love, it may be work. Um, so we shall see. Could just be a message of wisdom and growth. Let's see, let's see. Please know that these readings are general. So the messages may not apply for each and every person, but take what resonates and leave what doesn't, right? There in the universe, kind of seven million, so different. Religions and it all comes down to one. Shay, Christian, so maybe your message, Gemini, is one of unity, one of a very spiritual. Uh, connotation I guess you can say I'm just kind of moving my I have a tea light here <laughs> lit Angel of pleasure, angel of addiction, healing, um, goddess of the shadows. What you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure. And it's funny, we have this, I'm gonna turn the music down, have this um, angel of addiction healing here as we have the devil card here as the center of your reading. Okay, so there's um, most definitely angel of support, something, and you're going to have victory because the end, the bottom of the deck energy is the six of wands, and um, I also see the ace of wands here, which is a passionate new beginning. Uh, the ace of wands could be that energy of wisdom. So, um, you know, having a, a message of spiritual guidance, perhaps, but it's going to take you, you know, overcoming your addiction so that you can show other people how to overcome theirs, right? So I'm going to move everything up a little bit here. I'm going to put these cards down here. It says the thoughts I think determine the relationship I attract. So let's, let's get some divine guidance cards out here as well. And uh, see what comes up. I'll do one more. Okay, so maybe you guys are addicted to um, stress, addicted to worrying. Um, you know, maybe addicted to a, a lack mentality, which could be a, a generational curse, you know, um, that you are 
working to overcome and to master to know that you deserve abundance and the abundance card did come out here you know we have the soulmates card and we also have communicate right so we have the world card here there is sorry my bird was on the window and she just kind of startled me um, there is a cycle that's it ending in regards to a relationship. It says soulmates are important people who teach you life lessons. They can be friends, lovers, and family members. All right. So um, this soulmate may possibly be the energy of a family member because um, underneath that I see the ten of coins. And we know the ten of coins kind of represents that energy of you know again that generational legacy generational curse um you know just that energy of uh, a long-term type of relationship so perhaps with the world card the eight of coins and the ten of coins um and underneath all of that energy we have here the uh every every relationship i establish is eternal it says it is our desire that you come to remember that every relationship is eternal and that once it has been established it is a part it is a part of your vibrational makeup forevermore and that in your powerful now where all that you have become converges with all that you are now becoming you hold the power to create and so your observation of a situation wanted or unwanted no matter how remote you believe yourself to be makes you a co-creative partner of the experience so i guess this is you know bringing us the energy to um let us know that if there are any relationships in our life that is in discord that's just basically um energy within ourselves that we need to face you know and part of the overall energy again here is that we have the angel of support it says the universe has heard your silent call for help so maybe you are in the energy of you know overcoming again that generational curse of codependency of perhaps um, not feeling worthy maybe your family members didn't make you feel worthy and um or heard maybe they took advantage of your kindness but you are having the victory and overcoming that you're doing the work that is necessary to release yourself from this aid of source energy of lack of feeling uh undeserving allowing those words that perhaps your family members told you um allowing that to replay over and over in your mind keeping you confined you know in this small fishbowl you know i don't know if you heard this story or the analogy that you know um if you put a certain fish in the small fishbowl it's going to stay small so that you know it can be comfortable in this environment but if you place that same fish in a bigger fish bowl or whatever it grows you know exponentially and so that small fish bowl could be those negative thoughts the you know that energy of um, unworthiness that perhaps you know your family or friends or people around you instilled in you but know that it's an illusion you are on overcoming this illusion this addiction energy the manipulation that you know perhaps people around you try to you know put on you because of their misery and you are adapting this energy of the ace of cups exactly supporting that energy we have this card i have complete control over my thoughts right perfect card and then that's underneath the abundance card. It says great news is heading your way. Abundance is coming to you in many forms. And maybe that abundance is coming to you in the energy of uh, confidence, you know, and helping you to heal your addiction to this negative talk, this negative self-talk. It says angel of addiction healing. This is a time of positive transformation and healing. Exactly. You are becoming the magician. You are, you know, um, 
realizing all the resources around you as you ground yourself and get in contact with your higher self and your spirit guides and angels it says communicate with others more freely speak up you have a right to be heard and again maybe you know with that eight of source energy and you not feeling worthy and not feeling not heard and, and and such you're in the you're doing the work and you're going to have victory because you're grounded now you know it says it's time to ground and center your energy be truly present in your life and now you are and you are recognizing you know all of those um you know all of the things that have held you back we have the goddess of the shadows what you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure maybe you hadn't tapped into that dark side you know that energy of you know standing your ground and fighting back and saying yes i have a right to be heard you know and being able to communicate more freely and underneath that communicate card we have the queen of swords you know you are standing in your power now overcoming again those illusions that other people try to put on you and keep you in this little box you're taking that leap of faith honey you are um recognizing the power and the resources that you have within you and you are now seeing clearly you are now utilizing um not only intellect but your intuition as well and you are cutting out those things and those that negative self-talk that is no longer serving you which is bringing about for you passionate new beginnings you know that with the judgment card underneath that in the page of ones you know you're now uh made that decision to uh move forward towards your happiness no longer um in the energy of stagnancy you are taking advantage of this second chance making that judgment call and you're moving forward in your life purpose right you're finding out your life purpose and you're making that decision to go after it right with that passionate new beginning you know ending that painful cycle you know you had a cycle of you know insecurity and low self-esteem but you found the strength right to overcome and then the chariot is underneath that i'm gonna stop right there uh but the chariot right underneath that you know the energy that willpower and determination to move forward past that um lack mentality right and to achieve victory six of wands that's the energy of you know coming back from battle victorious right so um and then right here uh with the communicate card uh with under with the fool taking that leap of faith um and utilizing the resources within you and to um be the queen of swords using that you know the resources within you your intellect and your intuition to be victorious and to move forward to the next level you know embracing that shadow side it says babies are thinking and attracting before they are even speaking right it says even though you are only months old in your physical body you are a very old and wise creator focused in that baby's body and you came with powerful intentions so i feel like this is that energy like i said there's a cycle ending right so when a cycle ends you begin again so it's like being a baby again and even though you are this you know in this um you know birthing stage the seeding stage as you um go into this new cycle you still carry with you the wisdom that you've gained in you know from the previous cycle and like i said here you're a wise creator even though you're only months weeks or days into this new um found energy you're very wise and very old you know it says people often assume that because a child is not yet offering words the child could not be the creator of its own existence but it is our promise to you that no one else is creating your experience, right? Children emanate vibrations, which are the reasons for what they attract even from their time of birth. You know, babies even though they can't talk, 
they cry they're in they're sending forth those vibrations so right now you may not be able to speak this transformation that is going on within you but your vibration is high and it's attracting to you the abundance and the soulmates and everything that you you know you're sorry i had to pause but your vision is clear now and you're moving forward in a grounded energy knowing what it is that you want and going towards your destiny and remember it says the thoughts i think determine the relationships i attract it says not only does the power of your thoughts determine which people make their way into your life but it determines how they behave once they get there you are the thinking vibrating attractor of your experience right kind of the same energy that this baby card was talking about and the thoughts you think determine everything about the life that you live as you turn your attention toward the positive aspects of the personalities and behaviors of others with whom you share your planet you will train your points of attraction in the direction of only what you desire beautiful 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 energy all right gemini that's what i have for you i hope that helped in some way shape form or fashion please like share and subscribe if you like the message that came through um, if you want to energetically donate to the channel, please hit that thumbs up for me. If you want to monetarily donate to the uh, channel so I can continue to invest in you guys. If you monetarily want, I think that's where I left off. I'm sorry, I got distracted. If you want to monetarily donate to the channel, my cash out will be in the tag in the description box below. Um, I love you all. I think that was everything. But anyway, I love you all. And until next time, peace.